going on, guys? PR Baller here. Welcome back to the show on Wall Street. I am your host, PR Baller, reporting live in front of the New York Stock Exchange on Wall Street. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today's segment is the closing bell, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Without further ado, let's get into it right away without wasting any time. Dow Jones Industrials closes 200 points lower as the 10 year Treasury yield nears 5%. This market is crazy and it's scary. The Bears won today, the Bears have been winning this week. And it looks like the Bears are going to win this week. Tomorrow's the last trading day of the week. And unless we go up a bunch, we had a losing week. Uh, this market is scary and it's very frustrating because uh, it's you'll see it going up one day and then we'll have like another slump. As you can see, the fears are back and forth. Sometimes the market is bullish and sometimes it's bearish. Uh, nobody really truly knows uh, nobody truly really knows what's going on uh, the market has been very volatile so let's just get into it uh, Dow Jones Industrials closes down three quarters of a percent down 250 points for today's session the S&P 500 down 0.85 percent for today's session the Nasdaq Composite down one percent for today's session the Russell 2000 is down one and a half percent for today's session the volatility index is up 11 percent as volatility increases the volatility before the war started was already high after the war it's at a new high it's been crazy what's happening in these financial markets guys but I'm here to tell you guys what's going on so let's get into it uh, Tesla down 9.3 percent mr. earnings destroyed Tesla destroyed Closed a little bit off the session lows, but destroyed it. Brought the whole sector for EV stocks down. Charge point, three dollars and ten cents down five percent. <coughs> charge point, yes, is barely holding on to three dollars. Can you imagine if a charge point goes under three dollars? Stock was forty six dollars and ten cents trading on December twenty second, twenty twenty. This market is absolutely insane. Okay, this market is ridiculous. Nobody knows what's happening. Um, so Tesla down 9.3%. Netflix up 6% as they beat their earnings. At least we have that good news. Uh, SMCI down to 7%. <coughs> Apple down a quarter of a percent. Uh, Nvidia down a quarter of a percent. And AMC up over 2% staying in the nines staying it's getting it's comfortable in the nines it's not it's staying in the nines so it's going back and forth but just like the overall broader market peloton's under five uh jet blue is around that 440 450 mark uh nicola back above a dollar and vinfast under six dollars guys this market is absolutely insane Bear with me, I'm very sick. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, so this market, guys, is absolutely insane. Um, so we do have some news. Uh, Powell said that um, less e economic growth would be needed to, you know, get prices down and get inflation down so maybe that's a sign that he's saying the economy is still very bad and we need to do one more rate at least just <coughs> to continue trying to keep inflation down but their target rate is two percent i don't think it's going to be two percent but everything is very expensive the war is the war is going to be making prices go higher it's going to fuel prices uh i hope everyone i hope for world peace everyone stays safe but yeah, this market is absolutely crazy. You see what the war is doing. Uh, <coughs> it's going to affect the whole world, you know? So, But let's get, just get into it. So, uh, FFIE, for example, FFIE, an EV stock, went up a lot this week. Uh, <coughs> I'm just trying to give you guys market updates. Uh, yeah, the whole sector of EV stocks is brought down by tesla tesla slump now uh it's been a awful down almost 20 percent in the week it's very it's been brutal week for tesla volatility is insane over 100 million shares traded for tesla ticker symbol tsla yeah. <coughs> um, 
Yeah, but this market, guys, uh, nobody can figure it out. And, you know, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Um, I think, I think the Fed might have to raise these rate, rates one more time just to get inflation down. Powell spoke today and said the economy is very bad. So whoever traded today, the volatility, I hope you guys did good because the volatility was hard. If you made money today, that's hard. That's tough. Congrats. That's tough. It's not easy to make money when Powell's speaking because he is, he moves the markets like nothing else. So yeah. Um, I'm just gonna sit down a little bit so I can continue. Uh, Today's forecast is in the 60s, guys. Cloudy, freezing cold. <coughs> if you're on Wall Street or New York City, stay safe. Stay safe, guys. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. General Motors under $30. Uh, the bulls are back, guys. The bulls are back. And... We don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, it's scary. I said it before, the market goes down fast, but goes higher even faster. So uh, I think this last quarter is gonna be insane volatility, but I think we'll close it out good. I think to start it next year, we'll have a rally, bullish momentum, as the Fed will stop raising the rates. <coughs> Hopefully we'll have like a 2021 market where everything flew. GameStop, Tesla, Nvidia, everything flew. Apple, everything absolutely flew. Equities soared in 2021. Soared. It was the greatest bull market Wall Street's ever seen, ever experienced. So, yeah, guys, it's just been a crazy market. And. Yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, no more sore throat, just a cough, man. A lot of stocks guys that are very cheap uh, but after this segment i'm gonna go home relax and get some rest i much needed deserved rest still came to work today even when i couldn't move literally can't move guys Top five favorite stocks. Number one, AMZ. <coughs> it's very undervalued, very cheap. Um, getting comfortable in that nine dollar range. Very comfortable in the seven and eights. It's hell of a why at that price. Uh, AMC oversold, undervalued. Ticker symbol AMC is number one. Ticker symbol CHPT. Charge point number two. Three dollars to ten cents. Down five percent. Closing at the session lows because Tesla dragged down the whole sector. But it was already going down anyways, but charge point is very cheap. We'll see if the market cap falls under a billion and we'll see if it falls under two, three dollars a share. Charge point is unbelievably cheap. Never thought it would be like this. I'm gonna go with number three. <coughs> so number two, CHPT is my second favorite stock. Number three. Number three. Three Macy's ticker symbol have very cheap, undervalued, oversold. <coughs> Keep in mind, I don't think AMC charge point or Macy's will ever go to zero. They will never go bankrupt. They have too much real estate everywhere. Okay. Number four. So number three ticker symbol M is my third favorite stock. Number four. 
I really like uh, <clears throat> I like Peloton at that $4.50 mark and I also like the number, number four I'm gonna give it to number four I'm gonna give it to JetBlue uh, just because JetBlue <laughs> every time I see it go to 430 it goes right back up I think it's found a support level it's comfortable there it's ranging but <laughs> I don't think you'll lose if you get it in the 430s 440s I don't think you'll lose so JetBlue is going to be number four. Number five is going to be Peloton at 460. Uh, it's very cheap. Peloton it had a rally. It had a period of time where it kept rallying and going up. But I don't know about now. It's a bit tough for Peloton, but it's still very cheap. Oversold, undervalued, and it's. I don't think it's ever going to go bankrupt. The shares are at near an all-time low. The whole all-time low is 434. Now it's at 460. Uh, so in the fours. You know, obviously it found a support level at 434, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be like... <coughs> <coughs> Guys, the New York Stock Exchange is the largest exchange in the world. Don't miss out. Be a part of it. Start trading. Start investing. Start getting rich. Start printing money. Easy money. Easy money. But yeah, so... Uh, Wall Street guys. Uh, symbol HPE is listed in the New York Stock Exchange. Edge Hybrid Cloud AI Artificial Intelligence has led stocks market cap by over a trillion dollars for this year. Might be a main reason why we had a bull market rally this year. So, yeah, number five guys, I'll give you Peloton PTON. If you get in the 430s, it's a hell of a buy. I think in the fours, but obviously. You know, in the fives, it wasn't comfortable. Uh, it's still cheap. I don't know if there's more room to the downside. I don't know. Um, <laughs> listen, all I know is AMC has proven consistently that it's in the, comfortable in the nines now. <coughs> you know what I mean? It flew past the seven and eights. Then it continued to fly above nine and ten. It went all the way up to eleven, over eleven. I think eleven fifty or something. 1160 it went crazy but then obviously it came back down it wasn't sustainable when a stock goes up too much guys you got to be careful but yeah that's basically exactly what happened um, uh, this market is absolutely insane guys um, yeah so uh, AMC has proven consistently is the best stock right now 4272 is Uber down 28 cents. 28 cents. Uh, down 28 cents. So today, <clears throat> for today's session, Uber is down 28 cents. UPS is down $1.76. Visa down $3.66. Verizon, ticker symbol VZ, is up 53 cents. All right, guys. I'm going to start wrapping it up. Make sure you guys go watch my interview I had with. Let me give you the timeline first. I met Mike Santoli here first. Didn't get on video, just got a picture. Then same spot. Met Mike Santoli. Uh, got the video, got my interview with him. Make sure you guys go watch that. It was called, title of that video is Interview with World's Richest Man. He gave his overall take on the market and I got that for you guys. Make sure you guys go watch, very important. <coughs> okay, number two. I met Peter here, he got me a bull and Number three, I got my interview with the legendary Jim Cramer from Mad Money. I got the interview. I got his overall take on the market. Make sure you guys go watch that. That video is titled Interview with World's Richest. Sorry, that video is titled Interview with Jim Cramer. The one with Peter is inter titled. Inter uh, the one with Peter is titled uh, World's Richest Man Got Me a Gift. And then with Cramer, Mad Money. With Jim Cramer from Mad Money. Uh, interview with Jim Cramer is the title. So make sure you guys go watch that. Disney down $1.43. So, <coughs> yeah, so I got my interview with my Central here, interview with World's Richest Man. Make sure you guys go watch that. And then I got my interview with Jim Kramer from Mad Money. The title is Interview with Jim Kramer. Make sure you guys go watch that. And then Peter bought me a bull. I went from bearish to bullish. That title is Interview. That title is World's Richest Man. Got me a gift. So make sure you guys go watch, drop a like, subscribe, comment down below for the new videos it has been your host br baller it's been nothing but a pleasure
Thank you guys so much. It's 15 minutes in and I can't wait to go home and relax. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below for new videos. Five segments every single day, guys. 6 a.m. is free market, 9.30 a.m. 6 a.m. is pre-market featuring your host, BR Ball. <coughs> 6 a.m. is pre-market featuring your host, BR Baller. 9.30 a.m. is the closing bell featuring your host, BR Baller. 1 p.m. is the halftime report featuring your host, BR Baller. Midday Movers. 4 p.m. is the closing bell featuring your host, BR Baller. 6 p.m. is the U.S. Futures uh, featuring your host, BR Baller. And then on Fridays, there's no futures, but I will still get something up for you guys. Love you guys. <coughs> Please make sure to subscribe, drop a like, comment down below for new videos. Other than that, it's been your host, Beer Baller, and I'm out. Peace. Subscribe.